Hey there, my name is Nev, I'm a dev, and I am finally back. I again had a, a lot to do besides YouTube and coding. My Mac also was um, in uh, repair works, so I could not do any coding at all. If you didn't already notice, I have a new camera. It's not really a new camera because it's just another angle and it is a dji osmo action instead of my iphone the battery has gotten pretty bad since ios 18 so and my mac can't charge it fast enough so yeah i hope this uh looks kind of okay um but i'm planning to buy a mirrorless camera soon um anyways but yeah that's not actually the point of the video uh, today we will talk about the deprecation of Lucia auth, a library that I have been using for um, quite some time and I love this library. It's really the holy grail of auth but unfortunately the author has decided to deprecate it. So here we have our little community post. It's official. I'll be deprecating Lucia v3 by March 2025. Um, for those who don't know, Lucia is one of my favorite um, authentication um, like frameworks or libraries and I've used it for quite some projects, um, like basically for every project that I um, have used auth, if we kind of ne neglect that <laughs> I used to work with Firebase, but since I've worked with Svelkit, I have basically done everything with Lucia. Um, so yeah, Lucia npm package will be maintained until March. And there are adapters. Um, I don't want to go too deep uh, through this community post. And yeah, I just want to go ahead into the Lucia docs right here. And it's kind of restructured a bit. So um, I've known it a bit uh, differently. I've known it as v3.luciaauth.com. Uh, like that. And yeah, now it uh, changed a little bit. And what it basically now is, um, he stripped down the Lucia dependency. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about that, but he stripped down the Lucia dependency. You now really have to do everything from scratch, which I find interesting. But it's actually kind of cool because um, now I don't need to write uh, database adapters, which were a bit of a pain uh, before with Lucia. But yeah, no more of these. Now we just have everything built from scratch. Like um, we could go into a basic API and drizzle orem and we need to yeah do these things all ourselves so generate session token create session validate session um it has basically um evolved from an authentication library to just a guide on how to set up session and we are of course still um using this library called oslo so this got restructured we basically now have to set up everything ourselves and for a little project that would have been okay and i'm gonna probably do this for uh codoodle because codoodle is not really a complex project for my more complex projects like zenith i had to go with something different and that's actually the subject i wanted to talk about today um and the authentication library i am replacing lucia with is better auth yeah better auth is a authentication library the most comprehensive authentication library for typescript and i am i was super hyped about this because this library is not really like not that many people know about this um and i have just uh coincidentally um stumbled upon a tweet from the author of this library and as you can see it's pretty new it's still in beta yeah let's just go ahead and dive into the docs they have very cool docs. I have actually also helped a bit with the docs, with the Svelkit guide. I have found some issues. The library is approaching V1, as it says here, November 22, which I am super hyped about. And then I will probably also uh, revamp the docs once again. But yeah, I'm definitely hyped when this reaches production that um, I will be able to use this in my app in zenith which i'm actually already actively working on um but right now i'm just uh, testing it out and yeah like i said working on it on implementing it uh it's not production of course um i think you can read through the docs yourself um but i want to really show you like uh, the repository i've made here let's quickly sync that up so we 
have some really simple things right here. We have our auth.ts file, uh, which is not really complicated at all. We just have our little auth object, export cons auth. We initialize that. We need a database and we have some social providers, um, which we can use. We can use GitHub. We can use Google, Discord. And then we, of course, need to provide our secrets um, to use them. And we create our little client right here where we can specify some things. So you can actually also use some plugins, which I'm going to talk about later. Um, so the plugins you would initialize in here. What we have here is our little demo thing. And we don't want to go to home. We want to go here. We just have this simple pop up right here where we can uh, continue with GitHub. And then we're kind of signed in. Um, that's like basically everything there is. And the code for this is actually super simple. We have a db.ts, which we need for Drizzle. And we have our schema. This schema, I actually didn't write anything myself. Um, but in the docs, it also states that they have a very useful CLI. And with this CLI, we can just go ahead and generate something and then, yeah not push it but um at least generate it because the migrate is only available with the keysly adapter i think that's how you um pronounce keysly um but yeah uh we can use better auth at latest and then generate and it will generate us these things and then we can migrate and it will go ahead in our local.db which we can quickly inspect npm exec result Studio like that and then we're gonna open drizzle studio and as you can see let's quickly zoom out a bit um, we have our we have my little ID we have a cool little username right here we have also we also have an image that's cool so yeah basically better auth just takes care of, uh, with everything for us we don't need to set up that many things and I actually like this layer um, of uh, removal of the complexity because yeah I know it takes away some of the complexity but I actually like it so um, I am fine with that so let's actually quickly take a look at the plugins that we can use so there are many plugins we can use uh, two-factor authentication we can um, uh, use a username I don't like the choice that we need to specify this as a plugin um, but yeah, I am fine with that. I am fine with that. Um, it's okay for me. Um, and then we have also Anonymous, um, which I don't really have a use for. But if you're building something like an e-commerce store, um, I think Anonymous login, yeah, it's not really a bad option. Uh, we have phone number, magic link, uh, passkey, which is really interesting. Um, I'm a huge fan of the implementation of, or not implementation, but of the passkey itself. Yeah, I've never actually implemented it myself, but um, yeah, I'm open for it. Admin could be interesting, but I haven't really checked that out yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you quickly how the progress is going on in Zenith. I'm going to switch the project to AI Planner thing, or is it just Zenith? Yeah, it's just Zenith. And we are going to quickly fetch our changes and um change our branch which is that one now we go into our lib and i think the folder structure already changed because we now have client and index.ts and i've already started to do a little bit but i think the work is very tedious on this repository but i think the learning curve is kind of exponential like with many things um related to coding so I don't think it will be like very difficult for me to implement that because I have already implemented so many things um, where I previously thought I could never do it. So yeah, this is also a little tip for you if you are a beginner and you're like a bit scared away from technologies. Just don't be. Just go ahead and try it out and try to implement it. And till you like really hardcore fail, just keep keep trying. Keep trying. This would be, yeah, kind of my message. This was a little overview of Better Auth and a little overview of what has changed with Lucia. I hope you like this video, and I will drop some. I will drop more videos soon. Um, 
and we will see us in the next one.